6 a.m. productive vlog. Although I will say that I cheated a little bit this morning and I technically woke up around 6.40, so it wasn't quite a 6 a.m. morning, but I like to do these honestly probably just once or twice a month. I am not someone who feels the need to wake up at 6 a.m. every single day. I don't find that I'm more productive. I honestly just feel like I get less sleep that way and I don't feel the best, but on days that I just have a lot of stuff that I want to get done and those days where I kind of want to check off all the little things that I've been putting off. I think that starting off with an early morning is always really beneficial. And so I hope this vlog just motivates you to have a productive day, have a life admin day, whatever day you have ahead of you. I want to make a to-do list for today. I need to send in a video for approval. I need to stop by the bank today. I need to print and sign some documents. I need to plan out a thumbnail, make dermatologist appointment, work on business expenses. I want to get a workout in this morning. I need to full laundry, need to tidy up the apartment. I want to stop by the grocery store to grab stuff to make dinner tonight. <laughs> this dog is about to fall off the couch. That is pretty much it though. Let's go ahead and get this day started with some morning devotions. <laughs> For my workout, I am gonna do a strength workout today. I did cardio yesterday, so definitely wanting to incorporate some more weights. And I think I'm also gonna do an upper body. My legs are pretty sore right now, and I feel like I haven't really worked my upper body a lot. So I'm actually wearing this long sleeve tee today. This is from Cuts. It is probably a little inconvenient with the wider sleeves, but I think I'll be fine. I just kind of feel like being comfy in my workout today. And then I'm just wearing some aligned leggings as well. <laughs> breakfast i'm feeling a breakfast burrito because i just saw my friend tori masters on instagram post about eating a breakfast burrito and so i'm gonna make one but the thing is i really only have eggs and cheese and a tortilla so it's gonna be pretty simple but i'm sure it's still gonna taste good i also have a honey crisp apple that i'm gonna cut up too i'm gonna use one of these siete almond flour tortillas i really like these i feel like they kind of just taste like nothing but <laughs> they do the job Here's the breakfast. It's not super cute, and honestly, this is such a tiny little burrito, but it is what it is. I might make another one. I also did eat half of this apple before while I was putting everything together. And I'm just gonna start all my emails this morning while I eat breakfast. Sometimes I do like to have kind of like a quiet breakfast where I don't work while I eat, but a lot of the times it just makes the most sense to do this and I kind of don't have any other option most days. So we're just gonna go ahead and work on stuff on the laptop and then take a shower and get ready. Here is the fit for today. I'm wearing this exercise dress that is from Brainy Melville, so I can't link it, but it is my favorite because it's not like an actual workout material. It's cotton, so it's just so comfortable. Love wearing this, got a little belt bag on. I don't really remember what this is from. This is a PR gift. Threw on this button down from H&M, and then I'm just wearing my hokas. I try to run my errands in the morning if I can, because it's just a lot more peaceful outside. So we're gonna run to the bank and then also the grocery store. I'm really just gonna grab stuff to make dinner tonight and then I want to grab some fruit because we're out and Aiden's birthday is actually this weekend and so I don't know if we're gonna eat at home a lot so I just don't really want to meal prep I've kind of just been picking up dinner stuff as we need it and so tonight I'm excited I'm gonna make some air fryer chicken parmesan and then also a copycat kale salad from true food it's the best kale salad if you know you know and then I'm just gonna do some roasted sweet potatoes too so pretty simple <laughs> Groceries done and now I'm at the bank and essentially what I'm doing here this is such a long complicated process and I think the older that I get I realize that I'm becoming an adult when I just want to talk to someone to figure out instead of trying to you know be on the phone talking to a recording trying to figure it out online it's just so much easier when you talk to a human to figure things out I had a debit card that got hacked and so I got a new debit card to replace that and that one somehow 
Within the time it was in the mail, someone had hacked it via Apple Pay, and so that card got hacked, and I finally got third card, but now that I have it, for some reason it's not letting me activate it unless I have the pin that that last card had, but I never actually got that in the mail because they canceled it before it arrived to me, so it's this whole thing, and I try to deal with this over the phone, and it's just not working, so I'm gonna go in here, talk to a bank teller, try to figure that out. I'm just thankful that I can talk to someone because I have another thing I'm dealing with right now, and I cannot get into contact with someone even over the phone it is impossible it is just so frustrating and so i'm just gonna go in here talk to someone get it situated and hopefully be able to use my debit card again and the last thing there is this line that is above my lips right now i have put makeup on this i put makeup off of it i've tried to rub it in and it just won't go away and so just ignore that i keep watching the footage back and it's driving me nuts and so if it's driving you nuts too just know that i have tried and we're good that took seriously three minutes it was so quick this is why you should just try to talk to someone it makes it so much easier and now i'm actually going to book a dermatologist appointment in the car because i keep trying to book this appointment in our apartment but for some reason anytime i try to call people in our apartment they can never hear me well and last time i was trying to book this the receptionist was getting so snippy at me because she couldn't hear me i know it's really frustrating but i was like like you're like yelling at one moment and then you're really quiet at one moment and so I'm just going to go ahead and do this in the car while I have good reception and get this done too. Please leave a brief message with your name, number, and the reason for your call and someone will get back to you as soon as possible. And now they didn't pick up so they're going to call me back when I'm home and I have to repeat this process again. I think I'm just going to stay out for 10 more minutes and hopefully they'll give me a call back and we can make this appointment. I was trying to kill time in case they called me back so I just went and grabbed a decaf ice shake and espresso from Starbucks. I feel like I haven't really been getting coffee out too much lately and so this feels like nice little treat rapid fire grocery haul because i've been doing so many grocery hauls lately and i know it's repetitive kale for a kale salad lemons for the kale salad and i've just been in the lemon water lately the best whole foods chocolate chip cookies ever if you know you know mini lara bars i like to eat a mini granola bar right when i wake up in the morning for my hormones get something in there grapes really been into grapes lately chicken tortilla soup i think i'm gonna have this for lunch today marinara sauce and various cheeses for a dinner super simple i'm gonna put this away take cash to the park for a little bit because it's beautiful outside back now i just went ahead and printed out some documents while i was down there at our apartment printer so i'm gonna sign these these are for taxes and then scan these send them off and that'll be another thing that we have completed lunchtime i feel like this has been such a productive day i know it's literally titled a 6 a.m productive vlog but i've gotten so many just little things done and i feel on fire i thrive working on little tasks i feel so accomplished when i'll do 20 little things as opposed to just working on one big thing throughout the day but i'm gonna make some lunch like i mentioned i think i'm just gonna heat up this tortilla soup that i showed you guys i'm not super hungry today for some reason and so i think that this will be fine i might add some bread with it if i want but i think i'm just gonna heat this up soup is done i just added some tortilla chips and cheese because i feel like it needed a little bit more now i'm gonna do something that i've been putting off for a while and that is cleaning out the fridge it is just not a good situation in there i have so much stuff that i need to just sift through throw out and also just wipe everything down i feel like it just hasn't been super clean in a while in terms of like actually wiping down all the food and everything so this is going to commence our cleaning i am feeling a little bit tired i don't know why it just hit me where i'm like i definitely want to take a nap right now but i really want to do this so probably gonna do this vacuum and then clean our mirrors and then the laundry i'm gonna give myself like an hour and a half to get all this done and then after that aiden should be home and i think we might go to the pool layout a little bit we'll see what we get up to do you see what i mean <laughs> this is just not a great situation i wish we had a separate drink fridge that is my problem because drinks just take up so much space but i can obviously go through this so let's do it my mom is so sweet she always gives us this giant thing of eggs every time we go over and so i'm gonna refill our little egg container too with this
here is our finished product. It is so much cleaner, and especially all the drawers and everything I actually rinsed off so they just don't have any food on them or anything. Went through and made sure we just have all of the stuff that we're actually using, stuff that isn't bad. And yeah, it's definitely not the most organized ever. The thing that I always struggle with is how to store all of like my condiments and sauces because those are all behind there too. They're hard to see, but it is what it is. I forgot that I also wanted to make some energy bite little balls, which are some of my favorite things to have for just like quick little snacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these. I'll link the recipe that I'm following. I'm just not gonna add the coconut because we don't have coconut and I couldn't find it at the store. So I'm just gonna do everything else. for a little walk before Aiden works out. I think we're gonna go to our favorite area to walk, which is just kind of a more quiet neighborhood. But I have to be honest, I just took an hour long nap. My body just sacked out, I was so tired, but it felt so good just to get a little nap in before the rest of the evening. But I definitely need to get out of the house and get some sunshine. It's such a gorgeous day. So I'm excited to go walk and bring Mr. Casher. From our walk, my phone actually died, so I think I got one clip on our walk. It ended up being nice though because had some time unplugged, which is always nice. And now I'm making dinner. Like I mentioned, I'm doing air fryer chicken parm. It's kind of like a healthier version. I've done this once before, but not in the air fryer. So we're gonna do that. And then our favorite kale salad is from True Food. Essentially has breadcrumbs and lemon juice, Parmesan. It's kind of just like a basic kale salad, but it tastes so good. So I'm gonna do a copycat version of that and then also some roasted sweet potatoes. Just finished dinner. We have the kale salad, the air fryer, chicken parmesan, and some roasted sweet potatoes. And we're gonna eat this while we watch Outer Banks because we're on the last episode. We just finished Outer Banks, which is crazy. We've been watching it for so long. We started from the absolute beginning of it and so it's crazy that's over i'm washing my face and i wanted to share that i recently reordered this is the pie skincare oil it's a rose hip fruit extract cleansing oil and i love this cleanser i love using this for getting my makeup off at night i usually double cleanse with this and it's such a favorite of mine so i'll link this down below i went like a couple months without using it and i definitely missed it so i'm gonna wash my face my skin has been like pretty dry lately. I feel like I have very flaky skin right now. So I'm gonna do a nice deep moisturize too. I just put some rosehip seed oil on my face, so I'm looking a little bit greasy. But it is 10.30 and we are headed to bed. I feel like today was a very productive day, but ready for a good night's rest. Probably gonna read a little bit before bed. Thank you guys for being here and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends. He says goodnight.